Going to turn to Hernando County right now. There's some a uh, lot of flooding in Hernando County. Nicole Rogers is there for us now. Nicole, I know earlier you were in one area. You had to leave because the, the floodwaters were coming up on you so quickly. Chris, good morning. I got to tell you, I am a Florida native and I have never seen anything like that personally. So we were just standing there and I noticed there was a little reflection around here and it's dark and that's why they tell everybody not to be driving out, especially on these overnight storms. Then I looked right behind me and I saw a little reflection and then my photographer and I packed everything up and within minutes everything was covered. But I wanted to give you a look. If you take a look over here, I'm going to walk you through. So this is just one of the roads and there are plenty of areas areas with water just like this. So I have rain boots and you can kind of see how far this water is going. But where are so many all around these areas toward the coast west of US 19 here in Hernando County that have areas like this. You can see there are pieces of wood just like this debris over here and then right over there it gets even deeper than that. And if you look even farther away you can see people walking in the water. You can see now that RV over there is going to be close if this water keeps rising and these houses Houses. You can see plenty of houses now having water inside. We spoke with one man who lives right here in Hernando County. He decided not to evacuate. He says that he stands by his decision, but now he has about a couple of inches of water in his home. Tell me, what's your house look like right now? It, it's right now it's got about that much water in it. And it, I've got my furniture up on the countertops and stuff like that. The river going up uh, as fast as it's going looks like it did in 93 in the, in the no-name storm. And when he says the river going up as fast as it's going, keep in mind, everybody, this is low tide. Later on today, we're going to see that high tide, and there are so many areas that you really got to watch out for in Hernando County because just because you're dry in an area and you're in a high enough place where you're not getting your car flooded, that doesn't mean you're going to be able to get out. And we obviously experienced that earlier. We had a hard time with that earlier. And this storm surge, this water comes up very quickly, which is why we, you know, we've seen the emergency management team. They just passed by and we see several people still here. We still have a lot going on here in Hernando County. Of course, we will continue to bring you the latest updates. And of course, you know, it's most important to stay safe. Chris Avery. All right, Nicole, thank you so much.